What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. So, yamb, yabametu, yabamet. this guy dropped a comment on a recent video saying there's a gun that no one talks about or uses. Now we did use the SO14 a couple seasons back and I remember the damage output on this thing being pretty solid but I'm not 100% sure. He also gave us a build to use for the SO14, now before we take a look at that I just quickly want to thank the sponsor of today's video. Are you looking to unlock MW3 camos like Interstellar and Borealis completely legit or Wars and Rewards including the Royal Helix and Decipher camos as well as the Nuke skin? Want to grab the best schematics, spot lobbies, or even instant delivery accounts? Look no further than Mitch Cactus. As the biggest, most reliable seller out there, they offer a bunch of legitimate services for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Buy now with code HYPNO at checkout for 5% off. So the suggested build for the SO14 is as follows. We're using the 22-inch Factory 14 barrel for increased effective damage range, the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor for increased recoil control and effective damage range, the Kaimura RYN-03 Vertical Grip for increased gun kick control and recoil control, the SOR50 55 adapter stock for increased sprint to fire speed, ADS speed, and sprint speed. And last but not least, we're using the 50 round drum. Thank you again for the suggestion and for the build. My bad dog, I completely butchered your name, but you know, boys, y'all gotta have some understanding. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Now that we covered the build I'm using for the SO14, I'd say it's time we head over to the tier 3 zone and see how it performs, so I'll see you all there. All right, boys, we made it to the tier three zone. As you can see, we have the SO14 here with us. Got this bad boy to pack three slapped on a little legendary tool. Now, uh, first thing I will say, ADS speed on this thing. Kind of how you doing? Let's be real here, boys. Yeah, a little slow. I did try messing around with the build, but I'll be honest with you. It's, it's kind of hard to get the mobility right on this thing. But um, yeah, damage output wise, absolutely insane so i can't wait to take on a few hvts now we did pick up a bounty contract and got a little mangalorian back there so uh let's go say hello to him and see how this thing does now we absolutely cooked those two or three zombies there a second ago no doubt that we're gonna cook this mangler uh, he should be right there there we go there we go let's drop in what up mangler all right start cooking him we're on single fire now, by the way, boys. We're just going to keep it on single fire for the time being. Oh, we are smoking this guy. Holy. Look at his health bar drop. A few more shots. Let's back it up here quickly. Boom. Just one tap on Hellhounds. A few more headshots here. And there we go. Contract complete. Yeah, this gun is definitely solid. Does my finger hurt though? Yes, it does, boys. Yes, it does. Not gonna lie, did actually injure it recently, so you know, kind of how you doing, but we Gucci, boys, we Gucci. Got another bounty contract back there. We're gonna try this thing on full auto now, see if there's a big damage difference. For those of you who don't know, most guns, if you swap them over to single fire or burst, you actually get a certain percentage damage increase, especially with something like the SVA. All right, there we go. Got a little bounty contract right there. See what target we get. And it's a mega abomination. All right, let's go say hello to that guy back there. Worst spawn ever, bro. All right, mega bombs right there. Swap this thing over to a full auto. There we go. Oh my God, fire rate on this thing, dude. Yo, look at this thing go. Crazy fire rate, actually. Okay. There we go, laser attacks coming in. Already cooked one of his faces. Boys, we might be onto something with this gun. <laughs> might be onto something here. <laughs> All right, let's back it up quickly. Oh, we definitely need to get speed killer here soon. All right, let's make our way up top just so we can trigger those laser attacks. Get those constant criticals going. Face there is glowing a bit. Ah, couldn't hit as much as I'd like to. Can we get this guy in the right angle? No. Is it not going to work? Get rid of some of those guys there. Just drop that. There we go. Laser's coming in. There we go. Cooked another face. Yeah. Hopefully we get a better mega spawn for the next one. Quickly throw that. Make our way back up top. Should be able to trigger a nice laser attack now. There we go. Yeah. I mean, just pay attention to his health bar, boys. That's insane. Yeah, this is actually ridiculous. Boys. <laughs> oh my god. 
Let's go. Haven't used this gun in forever, and I kind of regret it. Actually, a solid gun right there, Jug. Uh, you know, two dead wires. Might as well just slap one on quickly. Let's go. Let's have a little look, and there's no bounty anywhere. All right, let's go hit the perk machine and grab a couple Al Percachinos. And there we go. Fully perked up, boys. Fully perked up. Yeah, I'm having way too much fun with this thing. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, ADS speed actually ain't too bad. Like, you get used to it, you kind of ADS ahead of time anyways. It's, you know, it gets the job done. That's the main thing. Damage output is crazy good. Alright, so there is a raid weapon stash contract we could do over there. Yeah, not seeing any bounties. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. All Gucci, all Gucci. Quick little contract here, boys, you know, Cheno. We might go to the Stark Ether after, to be honest. Just quickly knock out the Outlast and Spore Control. Yeah, and I'll get some, get some extra essence. Hopefully an Elder Sigil there. <laughs> all right, let's start drilling this bad boy. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, this thing is crazy, man. Good amount of ammo, too, boys. We'll say, ammo's not going to be an issue. I think so far I'm already going to have to give this thing like a 9.5 out of 10, if not even a 10 out of 10. I'll be honest. ADS speed's the only thing I was kind of worried about at first, which, once again, it is super slow, but the damage output, bro, coupled with that insane fire rate, just rips through everything. So, uh, yeah, no doubt this thing's going to be great for the Dark Aether. Would probably be great for the uh, Escort contract there, too, to be honest, but we don't have VR right now. <laughs> All good now, all good. Alright, let's make our way up here. There we go. Yeah, made light work of that group. Look at that. Let's go, dude. Just something about a pack a punched gun with a suppressor, too. Like the sound of the gun. Oof. Gotta love that, boys. Gotta love it. And there we go, boys. Contract complete. Let's see what's in here. Death perception for free. Like I told you, boys, never pay for that perk, bro. Always get it for free. Not worth paying. Not worth paying. Let's go for that bounty. You know what I haven't seen today, bro? We haven't seen any blood burners. Where's all the brother brothers at today, bro? Bro, bro. <laughs> you know? Oh, man. All right, there we go. We got the bounty contract. Let's see what target we get here. And it's a mega abomination. All right, all right. Let's go say hello to that guy back there. You know, decent spawn. Actually, a great spawn. Barely get this, but yeah. Definitely great. We can just chill up here, trigger those constant laser attacks, you know. Let's make our way over. Where you at, mega? Hasn't spawned in yet. He's scared. Oh, no. Oh, he's been spawned in. Bro, just chilling right here. Okay, let's come over here. Here we go. What up, mega? What up, dog? Come on. Laser attack. Already destroyed a face. Don't even need it, boys. Don't even need it. There we go. We need this guy to aggro on. He's not even aggroed yet. Hold on. Come down. Oh, he's like, bug. There we go. Laser's coming in now. Finally, a little crawler in front of us. Let's get on top of this. Should be able to trigger another laser from up here. Pretty sure. No? Okay. Face going to be glowing. Doing some big damage to him. Let's go. Come on, nice, laser's coming in. Yeah, this thing is a demon in the tier 3 zone. Damage output's just insane. Let's see what's in here. Whole lot of nothing, whole lot of nothing. Nothing special on the ground either, you know? Okay, another bounty back there, let's go for that. Not gonna lie, tier 3 zone isn't too contested today. I like it. That's good. And there we go. Boys got the bounty contract. Let's see what target we get here. And it's a mangler. All right. Let's go say hello to him. Pretty close to us. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So the last mangler we fought, I'm pretty sure was on single fire. Let's see the difference here on Plato. This is going to be insane for sure. There we go. Broke his armor already. Disabled his arm cannon there. <laughs> Yo, hellhound. Chill, homie. God, what was that? Rose just, ooh, ooh, we got it. Took the risk and we got it. Nice. Well, epic tool there, net and special on the ground. Okay, okay, let's have a little look. And there is a bounty back there, but someone's chilling by it. Not sure if his team's finishing up another contract in the meantime. I don't know. I'm just going to leave him there. I don't want to be that guy. 
Huh, psych. I am that guy, boys. I am that guy. <laughs> okay, a little mega abomination right there. There we go. Get some distance. The laser's coming in. Quickly cook up a face. There we go. Dude, this thing's just insane, honestly. Crazy good. There we go. Getting a few criticals in. Beautiful. Let's make our way up here. Start triggering those laser attacks. Get this fast kill. There we go. Oh, oh! Actually ran out of ammo now, boys. Haven't picked any up, though, so... No, can't complain yet. Can't complain yet. <laughs> Let's get that reload. There we go. Should be able to get the kill with just these bullets here. Nice, come on. Let's wait for that laser. There we go. Come on. One more, brother. Nice. Let's drop down for this. And there we go. Got the kill. Quick and easy, boys. Quick and easy. Whole lot of nothing in there, though. Damn it, dude. I mean, you know, maybe an extra self-revive or something. And uh, then we'll just head over to the Dark Ether. Why do we have a pack one crystal? Just, you know, not going to question it, boys. Not going to question it. And why are zips so slow in this game, bro? Or in zombies, at least, specifically. Okay, so we have too many self-revives and two Casimirs. Should be enough to get the job done, you know? Um, guess we could quickly do a raid weapon stash, you know? Might get some decent out of there. And, uh, yeah, we can hit the Dark Ether after that, see how this thing performs over there, but probably the rating won't change. I'm gonna keep this at, like, a 9.5 out of 10 for now. I mean, ADS speed and sprint fire speed have not been an issue yet. Like I said, you just kind of adapt in ADS a bit earlier. Should be good to go, you know? Look at that. Thing is just smoking everything in its way. What was the goal? Oh, dude, I can't wait for that Outlast contract. <laughs> Over in the dark ether, that spawns a lot of zombies, so there we can really see how this thing does against groups. We're probably going to go down there, just so we're going to, you know, we're going to take a few risks, boys, but, you know, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. Who knows? Might get a little Elder Sigil there, too, again, you know, been a minute, been a minute, lost the last one. And by the way, a lot of you guys said that my tombstone would have been in the tier 3. We loaded in, nothing. Absolutely nothing. DC'd and lost it all, boys. Every single item. Did I have sleepless nights because of that? Yes, I did. And there we go, boys. Contract complete. Let's see what's in here. Whole lot of nothing. Okay, we could have skipped the contract. That was totally not worth it. Okay. Okay. Let's uh let's just pray that we get some better over Oh, right, right. Wrong side, wrong side. There we go. Going in the noob side. Alright, I'll see you boys in the Dark Ether. And there we go, boys. We made it to the Dark Ether. So, uh, while we have a Scorcher, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the launch pads. Because, well, let's be honest, boys. They are kind of fun to use. <laughs> Alright, so then we're just gonna hit this one. And you guys know the usual strat. You just keep going straight after that one. And the first contract's gonna be right here. Here we go, there we go, got the contract, little outlast, you know. Take care of that PND, protect it, you know, at all costs. There we go. Absolutely dodging those zombies there. Let's get it. Alright. Just gonna make our way right into this room. There we go. And PND device is right back here. Let's get this bad boy activated quickly. Nice, nice, nice. And now. Hopefully, we get a good amount of zombies to spawn in. Let's just put this thing back on full auto. All right. So we need to get somewhere where we can just fry for a bit. See how it does. And, boys, she is absolutely cooking right now. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> boys, this guy's the... the ha how did we not go down there? But, um... Yeah, that's just, that's insane. I don't think we've ever fried like that for this contract. <laughs> that's absolutely crazy, dude. There we go. Let's throw that again. Oh, oh, snap. Now we're going down, though. <laughs> All right, let's burn it. Let's burn it. Test this thing out enough here. All right, let's just try to stay up for a bit. There we go. 38% through. 
Actually, I can't, boys. I'll be honest. This is too much fun. Things insane. <laughs> Look at all that candy. Damn. There we go. EMP guy should be spawning in here soon. That's the only thing when you don't have a VR for this contract. Crazy trying to outrun all the hellhounds and stuff. Especially this bad boy ain't really the most mobile weapon out there, you know? Oh, might go down here. Yeah. All right, let's burn it quickly. All Gucci, all Gucci. There we go. We're actually going to pop one of these as well. Nice insta kill. Just going to get rid of everyone. Oh, this is the uh, EMP dude. Get rid of him quickly. There we go. Nice. Light work, boys. Get rid of the last few Zombros here. Oh, insta-kill was huge for this. <laughs> there we go. Contract complete. Quick and easy. Alright. Uh, quite a lot of stuff in there, actually. Also got this. You know what? We'll equip it. We got a couple extras, so uh, don't really need it. Alright, let's just make our way out of here now. There we go. No Elder Sigil, though. You know, unfortunately. Right, let's make our way up here. Perfect. Now, if you would have a VR11, go ahead and do that contract right there. We're going to go past it anyways, so the route would be the same, kind of. So once again, if you have a VR11, just pick up that contract that we just flew past. Since we don't, we're just going to come over here. Take the first launch pad. Take the next launch pad. And then we're going to take this launch pad right here. But we're going to open up our parachute. And while flying past, you can actually... Okay, we missed it. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Just as I was about to say, when you're flying past, you can actually pick it up while gliding. So there we go. Just got it. Nice. So then while gliding past, just make your way to this launch pad right here. This one's going to take you to this rooftop. And the next one's going to take you right over to the inhibitors. You're just going to have to pull left a little bit. As you can see, there we go. Here we go. All right, let's stow that quickly. And we're going to do that. There we go. Now we're just going to stand up here and drop two inhibitors on this bad boy. Wait for her to blow. There we go. Oh, can we not pick it up? Okay gets too crowded that's why i picked up the extras right there you want to just run through here make your way up to where the helipad is and from here we're just gonna run on these floating solar panels go to that hellhound quickly there we go okay usually don't have any zombies spawning in here which is kind of weird kind of weird make our way out here got the other two inhibitors Quickly drop them both. There we go. Fry some of these boys. Beautiful. Nice. Got one of the inhibitors. Just quickly clap these boys. Got more than enough time anyways. Alright. Slap on a couple plates here. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, damn it. <laughs> there we go. Pick that up. And you just want to make your way up here quickly. And we're going to take this launch pad. There we go. From here, you're going to jump over to the island up ahead. And we're just going to take this launch pad right here. But we're going to pull over to the left. Open up that parachute. And throw down two inhibitors here. There we go. This island doesn't get too hectic. So no worries here. No worries yet, at least. This one's where it gets hectic, boys. So just, uh, I warned you, okay? Throw those inhibitors down as soon as you can. That one messed up. There we go. Right, there we go. Uh, what, what did we say, boys? So if you go down, which you probably will, try to get in a position so that you can actually pick up another inhibitor quickly. There we go. Can we get the second? Yes, we can. Let's go. Oh no, wait, did we not pick it up? Could have sworn we did. All good though. We have one. That's all you need, really. 
All right, now this island here is super peaceful. Just drop one down. Grenade bandolier is about to do its thing too for the final one, so. All Gucci. There we go. Nice. Just pick that up. As you can see, this island is super peaceful. It's only that other small one, really, that you might have to worry about. We're gonna make our way up here. Now, um, the Mimic. Boys, this guy always pulls us in and throws us off the island, but right there, he didn't make it. Let's go. <laughs> we made it past, boys. <laughs> Let's drop that. We'll drop the second one. For this one, we might just pop either Shroud then to actually hit the Reward Rift in peace. There we go. See what's in here. And we got one, boys. Elder Sigil. Let's go. We can finally come back to the Elder version. All right, so once you finish a contract, just make your way up here. You know, do a little bit of parkour. And if you take that launch pad, as you can see, it shoots you way up into the sky. And the exfil is right over there. So, uh, yeah. Now, in terms of the SO14, this thing definitely gets a 9.5 out of 10. I mean... I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because it is no FR events or anything, but it it competes. I'll be honest, this thing absolutely cooked in the tier 3 zone. Was great for the Dark Aether. I mean, you boys saw what we did in that uh, Outlast room downstairs. I mean, that was just insane. So, uh, yeah, thank you again for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to share your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are. And as always, goodbye.